What's up everybody? This is Gunter Severlo. Today I want to show you how to make multiple units playable at once. Alright, to start off, we're going to go to F1, and to NATO, and then to Men. I'm going to place down some units. And notice that the first unit that you place down is going to be set as the player. So if we go to the 2D map, and we double click this guy that we placed, he will automatically be the player. Now this is obviously a playable unit, but let's place down some more units. And it doesn't matter what we place, we're just gonna place down some units. If we go to the 2D map, let's say in your mission you have all these different units and you're playing single player. Let's double click one of these units and under object control you'll notice if you put your cursor over the word playable it will say when enabled the character will appear as a slot in the multiplayer scenario lobby and in the list of roles available for team switch. So let's make this guy playable and press OK. Now that's just one unit that is made playable. Let's play the mission. Let's say you died in your mission and you wanted to keep playing. There are two options to keep playing. You could either press escape and then go to save, you know, save your mission before you die, obviously. Or you could go to the button for team switch. For me, it's Q. And you'll get a list that comes up. Now, automatically on top of the list is the player, which is currently me because I have the red ring around the unit or you could switch to the next available unit that is still alive. If you click switch you'll be switching to the next available guy and that's how that works so if you wanted to switch back you can. And now I'm to this guy. Alright let's go back to the editor Now in multiplayer, let's go to multiplayer. So we'll go to play at the top and then play in multiplayer. And we'll just leave everything as is, just give it a password. Press OK. In the multiplayer lobby, you'll see that we have two units that are playable. I could choose either to be the deck crew guy or the grenadier. Now if I had a friend that was joining my server that I'm hosting or even on a server that we were renting or a dedicated server, he could choose this slot and be that player. And that's what that's for. Right, let's go back to the editor. You could double click each one of these and make each one of these guys playable. But there is a faster method. But what you do is you go on the top or the bottom or the side and hold down your left mouse button and pull your cursor away and what you'll see is you'll get this green box that appears and what this is for is for highlighting objects or units or things on the map. Surround all these units with this box and then let go of the mouse cursor and what happens is each one of these units gets highlighted so when you double click a unit he highlights you know the box will get darker and so forth so if we go to the 3d map you'll see that each one of these units is highlighted they have like a wire box around them keeping them highlighted what you can do is you just right click any one of these units it doesn't matter and you go down to where it says attributes on this list and then under object control you'll see the word playable press click on the box to check mark it and press OK. Now once you do that you'll see that each one of these units has a purple ring around them. Let's go to single player and play the mission. So if you press the team switch button you'll notice that the list just got bigger. There are more guys that you could choose from. So if I choose from the last guy on the list I'm able to team switch to them. If I bring up the list again and switch to my first unit, 
you see that I can control each unit. All right, let's go to multiplayer one more time. Go to play and then multiplayer. Give it a password and then press OK. In the MP lobby, you'll see this list has expanded again, just like the team switch list. And let's say I chose this unit and I had four other friends that were going to join my server. So each one of these friends of mine could just choose whatever role they, they want. They, they will be able to play the mission. These guys do show up in game. There is a another mechanic for this. And I'm going to show you that in the editor. Now in the editor, if we go at the top of the screen to where it says attributes, and then go down to where it says multiplayer, this is for the lobby. And under lobby, you'll have a box here that says enable AI. So under this is when AI is enabled, all playable characters are created at the scenario start, controlled by AI. Upon joining, a player takes control of an existing character. When AI is disabled, a new character is created for each connecting player. If we uncheck that box and press OK, and then go to play, and then play multiplayer, we won't have to set up a server. But basically, all these boxes will be set to nobody. So I'll just pick this guy, press OK, and I'll show you what happens. They're not here now. So each one of these units is disabled. All right, guys, back to the editor. That should give you guys a good idea of what to do. This tutorial is mainly for beginners that are new to editing and for those people that are creating their own missions. This concludes the tutorial, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something here, and uh, I will catch you on the next video. Bye.